when a tragedy happens, like a situation in the media, like this unfortunate Kiki Palmer situation, I learn a lot about the people around me. Mostly that I wish they weren't the f around me. Social media give me a reason to be antisocial every day, to be honest with you. Just say that you've never experienced domestic violence. Say you're not well versed on the topic and so you don't feel comfortable giving your opinion about it. If not hard, let's practice. Uh, this isn't gonna be a good vibe video. You might wanna scroll. Trigger warning, this is gonna be about domestic violence and domestic abuse. I'm gonna let you know that right now. You got a woman that has been in the industry for over 20 years successful, and this industry is known to have its people fall victim to addiction, be wrapped up in money laundering, sex scandals, all types of shit, all types of corrupt shit that you can think about, and she remains successful and unscathed. No one has said anything negative about this woman. She has been unproblematic as fuck her whole career. All we know about Kiki is that she's beautiful, she works hard, and she's a damn good actress. That's all we know. And she had to go to a judge and say, I'm afraid. I, I'm afraid for my life. I'm afraid for my son's life. I'm wrapped up into something serious, and I don't know how to get out of it. Please help. Please ensure that this man stays the fuck away from me because he's breaking into my home. He's breaking my stuff. He's grabbing my phone. He's threatening my son. He's threatening me in front of my son. I don't know what to do. You got women <laughs> and you got men talking about, well, that's the man you chose and um, why you get pregnant by him if you were so... First of all, how many of you planned your pregnancies? Let's be honest about one thing how many people plan their pregnancies or, or did you just have a long netflix and chill night let's really talk did you know that you are allowed to make the choice to choose somebody love somebody marry somebody carry somebody's child and that you are also allowed to say that that choice was not a very good one and that the only thing that you can do at that point is rewrite your wrongs and make sure that you do not make the same mistakes twice that is the only thing that you can do in that situation then you got to deal with dumb ass people and the and the whole i told you so i'm better than couldn't be me my relationship is in its own ways but not in that way so i'm better than you type people then you got to deal with dumb ass freaking comments so she posted so she posted these photos and, and, but then it still had a baby had a baby by him she you know what let me sh let me break down restraining orders right <laughs> let me break down restraining orders <laughs> you have to go in front of a judge and say hey Here's what I'm going to say about this person. This person is hurting me, but you might not believe me because you don't even know who I am. So here's these photos and videos of this shit happening to me. And because she's a public figure, um, anything that she does regarding court proceedings, because it's going to be made public, um, isn't private. So that's how come we know about it. She didn't say shit. <laughs> she didn't say shit. <laughs> I sincerely... Hate is such a strong word. I hate some of you. I hate you. And it's okay if you hate me too. Because the feeling is so freaking mutual. Listen to me and listen very carefully. Um, As a mother, you have to do everything in your power to protect your child. No matter if people talk shit about you. No matter if you're going to do it alone. Afraid. Broke. By yourself. Unemployed. It really doesn't matter. You have to do it. Because you brought a life into this world as a mother and so i applied any mother doing it 